Okay, so we're going to use a true type font called English Town. <clears throat> Sometimes with true type fonts, it doesn't come out great in the beginning. So we can see that the A is actually missing <clears throat> here. Um, it's not necessarily missing, but the stitch direction and some of the points need to be edited. So we can select the letter. Um, you can actually select the whole thing and let's first break up text. So I did right click, break up text. And now I want to select the A and use my uh, shape tool. So I can see here that I do have the outline but it just doesn't look like I have any stitches. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some angle lines and I will also need some split lines. So wherever there's an intersection, I would want to segment that. And that way the stitches can run one direction and then they can change. So if you right click on any outline or any point, you'll be able to add angle lines. I'm going to start with the large area here, and I want the stitches to run this way. And I'll just keep going, and I'll slowly <clears throat> have them angle out here. Now, I also want to add a split line, and that's going to go here so that the stitches will be able to run up and down. I'll put one here and I'll probably put one here and I might need one up there as well. So since I right clicked, we can see that things filled in. Um, I also need a split line here and then let's keep adding some angle lines. So here we want the stitches to run up and down. In this area, we can try to see if they'll just run left to right. In here, I'm going to go up and down. And here. I'm going to run another split line because I don't think this will look great <clears throat> like that unless I had more. <clears throat> so now we have a letter and I can just keep editing the lines and make sure everything looks really clean. Um, this one ended up working out up here so I just have the stitches kind of curving around and then they straighten up. So <clears throat> with specific true type fonts, especially something like this where it has quite a few intersections, it might just be um, a little difficult for the program to recognize that and you have to add some angle lines and split lines and then you'll be good to go and we can group them back together so it we right click group and we can change the density and I might need to make some edits if I um, <clears throat> don't like the direction or if I want um, to thicken anything up so it's important to know that all true type fonts will not be done perfectly right away. There will be some edits to make and that's just the nature of the um, font package. Hope that helps.